Here we go. We're going to play White Room by Cream. In the white room with black curtains near the station Black roof country, no gold pavements, tired starlings Silver horses ran down moonbeams in your dark eyes Dawn light smiles on you leaving my contentment No weed in this place where the sun never shines Wait in this place where the shadows run from themselves you said no strings could secure you at the station. Platform ticket, restless diesels, goodbye windows. I walked into such a sad time at the station. As I walked out, felt my own need just begin. I wait in the queue where the trains come back. Lie with you where the shadows run from themselves. She was kindness in the hard crowd. Consolation for the old wound now forgotten. Yellow tigers crashed in jungles in her dark eyes. She's just dressing goodbye windows, tired starlings. I'll sleep in this place with a lonely crowd Lie in the dark where the shadows run from themselves Hello. How are you, everyone? This is Hal's Dead. I just thought we'd start with a song, uh, White Room by Cream. Let's, uh, let's tell you who it's all about, who played it, who recorded it, that kind of thing. Let's see. I think it was released in 1968 by the band Cream. Jack Bruce sang and played bass on the song. Eric Clapton overdubbed guitar parts. Ginger Baker played drums and timpani. 
And Felix Papalardi, I think that's how you say it, uh, was a group producer. He played violas. Interesting, isn't it, for a song that's really, um, you know, a rock tune. Uh, amazing. <laughs> well, this is the way I play it <clears throat> when I play it uh, live. Well, when I play it solo. Um, I play, it's, it starts out with a G minor chord. If you've ever listened to the song, and if you haven't listened to it, go and listen to it. It's a fantastic tune. And uh, it has these, you know, guitars, uh, you know, just like double guitar parts or something. Harmony guita guitars that just wail right at the beginning. But uh, since I only ha have one guitar, I can't really do that. So, so this is how uh, White Room starts out with a G minor chord. I'd use the low strings. Go down to F. I use a bar chord there. And then I go to D minor here. To a C. I guess I could do D minor here. Back to G minor. We do that progression again. If you use this D minor, you get longer strings. C, A minor, and it just kind of holds right there. A minor chord. And then we start in in the white room with black curtains near the station. We got D minor chord going to a C, G with a B bass. Right there's my G, but it's a G with a B bass. B flat to C to D minor. Now this is a really common chord progression in D minor or in any minor key especially for um, rock and pop music and that kind of thing. Um, D minor, B flat, C, D minor. D minor is the one chord. C is the lowered seven and B flat is the lowered six. Lowered six, lowered seven, one. Okay, very popular. What I do right there, I play, um, let's see. Uh, when I do that really fast, like that, I don't always do the B flat on the A string right there. I play the bar chord, I play the three notes right there on the third fret, and just play those three. You know, it's like an A chord, but up a fret on the third fret. I'm going to C, just like that. So it's pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Okay, so what you've got here is, um, oh, you know that chord progression. It's just like, um, reminds me of this. Wait. Right, carry on my wayward son. Uh, once I rose above the noise and confusion. Right, you get that A minor, which is lowered six, excuse me, lowered seven. Lowered six, lowered seven. Do, 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 And then it goes to D minor. It's like it's in the key of D minor and does the same thing and treats D minor like it's the one chord. I was rolling never higher. I was flew too high. Right? So it's the same kind of chord progression. Let me think. There's another chord progression that comes to mind. <laughs> Stairway right at the end. A minor, G, F, G, right? So it's the same chord progression. So in White Room, we have this lowered six, lowered seven, one. Now, after we do four lines of uh, Dawn Light Smiles on you leaving my contentment. Then we have like a bridge part or something. I'll wait in this place. So it's a C going to a G. Where the sun never shines. And the A chord is the five chord in the key of D minor. Wait in this place where the shadows, that's lowered six, run lowered seven from themselves. Oh, and then it goes to a D. Right? which is actually what we call a Picardy third. It goes to a major chord, even though we're in minor, and then it goes back to minor. You said no strings could secure you at the station. Okay, if you're here, 
and you're just watching this live, this is like the third live stream that I've done in a week and a half or something like that. And so I appreciate you being here. Hopefully it sounds better than it has before. I'm working on that. And uh, we're doing White Room today. And uh, thanks for coming and coming by and, and watching. Okay, so basically White Room, it does the same thing. You've got the verse, and then you've got this like bridge part. And you have a verse, bridge, verse, bridge, intro. Goes back to the intro. Let's see, what's that, D minor? C, G minor. F, D minor, C, A minor, and then goes back to the third verse. At the party, she was kindness in the hard crowd. Right? And so it does a, a verse, a last verse. And then it does another, I'll sleep in this place with a lonely crowd. So it does that, like that bridge or whatever it is. And then it does another intro thing. Okay. And when it gets done with that, then it does a lead. And so the lead is actually done over the verse. Let's see, what's the chords? Right, so you got a lead. And that lead is in D minor. I was using just a, a blues. Uh, right, a pentatonic scale right there on the 10th fret, which is D minor pentatonic. So that's what you do. You, you uh, improvise on that. And Eric Clapton does that with a uh, with a wah wah, which is pretty cool. It sounds great. So you got, need to go listen to that and uh, check it out. So let's see. Is there anybody here? I see somebody here. I've seen people come and go a couple of times. And uh, if you'd like to ask a question, I'm ready for some questions. I'll answer some questions for you. Otherwise, we'll just kind of hang out here for a minute, talk to you a little bit about what's going on. Uh, let's see. What have I done lately? Oh, I was working on a fugue in A uh, major. I wrote one a long time ago. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it's all whited out. Anyway, um, put that in the computer the other day, and I'll put that on sometime. Let's see. No questions? No problem. All right, thanks for coming by. Let's see. Um, I've got a Patreon page for those of you who know about that. I've got several patrons over there. Thank you very much for those patrons for being there for me and helping to finance everything. I'm coming out with a lead sheet book and I'm coming out with uh, a book called Quail Studios uh, Guide to Music coming out soon. I just had a trouble. If anybody knows, if you guys know um, how to put together PDF files easily into a format where it's a book, I got a ton of PDF files, lead sheets and different sheets that I want to put together. And I've been looking for a program to do that and uh, don't want to spend like $400, $500 on it. It'd be nice if it was very cheap or free or something like that or open source. But if you know of something, let me know, put it in the comments or in the comments of this video. Um, so I just need to get that together and start getting that out. And that'll be a way that you can support this channel and my work here on Quail Studios Guitar. Thanks for being here. And we'll talk to you later. Okay. See ya.